G'day viewers, just like to introduce you to this little black pine uh, that's made it into my collection. Uh, this is a, one of the 1951 Koroshoff pines, which are the oldest uh, commercially grown uh, black pines in, in Australia, founded by Vita Koroshoff in 1951. Uh, my father had this tree for some time, I believe he got it around about 1980 or somewhere around the very early 80s, and he's had it for a long time. And I've always uh, coveted this tree. He has a few of these pines in his collection. Um, and it, uh, this was gifted to me on my 50th birthday. Um, I've had it in my collection now for a few years, past the 50, and I've always had some other plans for this tree uh, <laughs> forever, um, which I told my father about a little while ago, and that's to basically chop the top half of the tree off and just simply use this lower portion of the tree here to give me a much uh, stronger semi-cascade. Um, that means removing quite a lot of the top of the tree. So the plan is to do some air layers and things off that over the next couple of years and see if we can salvage some pieces to use before we chop it off. So I've called this tree Ryunome, R-Y-U-N-O-M-E. And it's because I've always seen this here. This is dragon eye, Ryunome is dragon eye. And I've always seen this part of the tree as a gorgeous dragon eye. Uh, that's leading into the, the tail of the dragon as the semi cascade. So, you know, the bit of the story we always like to share. So, this damage, in fact, here, all of this is actually hail damage that happened uh, some years ago as a, from a big hailstorm in Brisbane and has bruised the trunk quite severely. Um, the tree has been growing pretty strong after its repot last year, uh, last season in August last year. And you can see the strength of the, that growth by the, the way the, the veins are popping around the outside and showing all that beautiful red bark because it's literally splitting its outer skin because it's swelling so much. That should hopefully work to my advantage in the air layers. But in the, in the redesign of the tree, the plan is to actually chop it off at this point and lose the whole top of the tree. So that's why I want to try and do something with that and try and salvage some parts of the top of this tree at least and one part in particular, a gorgeous piece where there's some damage here from the wire still in the tree and also some hail. But this gives me a gorgeous swelling here and trying to get an air layer there to get another beautiful semi-cascade. So um, because there is so much going on with the top, I just don't want to waste it. So it's, it's worth taking a couple of years to get some air layers from this and see if they work. It's notoriously a little bit difficult on pine. They don't take too well. So I'm going to give it the best shot we can. Um, but have a go and then redesign the tree a couple of years down the track as this lower tree here. See so yeah, how we go.